Previously on Hobotech. Well, there we go. She's off the back. You know, every time I pull the bike off the back and it's all dirty and cruddy, it, it reminds me of like owning a classic car that you haven't driven in a long time because you're like pulling the dust cover off, you're pulling the car cover off and it's all dusty and you know, it's got that smell like it hasn't been run for a while. And this is just like that. And I haven't had this off the back since stands about a month ago. And you can see how dirty it's gotten just by being on the back, even though it's under a cover it still gets filthy. The funny thing is the seat's clean. And I didn't ride it, it's just clean. I don't know why the seat's clean. But there's an upgrade I totally forgot that I bought months and months ago that I, I just found it and I'm like, dang, I think it's time to go ahead and install this. In fact, this is something I think I'll just do right now. It's kind of it's kind of end of the day. I really don't have time to put take the tires off. Twist throttle. That's what I got. Now it's blue. I couldn't find a black one. It had like blue, yellow, and red. And I says, well, this bike's like completely black. Has no color on it. This is gonna be a little weird to have blue, but maybe I can paint them or something if it bothers me. So what I currently have is this stock thumb throttle this this actually came with a kit for free you know nothing extra this is i don't know 15 20 bucks or something so they'll just replace that it'll be a little bling on a completely black bike although i do have the silver chain ring uh, if it looks too dumb i can always paint them or something but i, I really want to twist throttle the, the thumb throttle is kind of hard to deal with though when you're going over bumps and your thumbs on it, it, it what it does is that, you know, you wind up giving it whole throttle by accident a lot of times and your throat, thumb gets sore. It's, and then it's really hard to hold a steady speed. You have to kind of lock your thumb on the throttle where this, you know, it's a lot easier when you're twisting. I mean, that's why motorcycles have twist throttles and not thumb throttles, you know, it just makes sense. So I think I'll go ahead and do this now. Okay, so here's the tools we're gonna need. Got rubbing alcohol to take the old grips off. Got the new grips, got an Allen wrench for the grips. Got a screwdriver to uh, pry the grips back. You'll see how I do this. My Leatherman for taking that stuff off. And yeah, we don't need the machete for this, but I was using it. And I got some ties, some zip ties to zip tie on the new cord. And of course I got my Coke Life, which is, what are my new favorite drinks? Here we go. That's easy enough. And here's the cable that connects it. So that's for the thumb throttle. Take that right off. Okay, so we're taking the end caps off here. That side. I, I did this before my bike build video, but those of you who did not watch my bike build video, how I got the grips on, this is how you do it. It's the easy way, I think it's the easy way. Pour some alcohol down there, start twisting. And the alcohol will loosen it up. It is moving, but I guess you can use soapy water too. So if I did run out of this, I could just use soapy water. But I find the alcohol works great. Okay, finally. Now this does have a lens cap on it, but I wonder if I can get away with putting it on without that. It is, it's the end. Okay. Well, 
that's nice. You know, I actually might need to move my move my breakout. So we got this side on. Basically all you do now, this is really long, but let's hook it up. And what I'm gonna end up doing here is zip tying this. Then we go ahead and zip tie this. I don't really want anything loose. You wonder why I wear gloves, that's why. I also, my humidity here is like 15%. And my hands are destroyed right now from the dry, dry conditions. And I'm not gonna, I don't wanna zip tie that, the brake cable, because that's already kind of, I want that to be loose. You don't wanna kink it. Get kinky. Use my handy dandy Leatherman. I told you guys I use it all the time. And yes, don't worry, I'll pick them up. Point the sharp points down so I don't stab myself, which I do regularly. Throttles on. Now for the sake of short, a short video, I'm not gonna show you the other grip. That just comes off. I'll put the other grip on and I'll be done. Okay, so the next upgrade I got is this aluminum rack. It's gonna go on the back of the bike. Uh, it's actually got a double brace on each side. This is, can carry up to 220 pounds. And the reason why I got something that can carry so much weight is because I also got a seat cushion for this so that I can actually ride a second person on the bike. But first, we need to get this installed. I was considering not doing this today, but I got some daylight left. And I actually realized it's gonna be easier to flip the bike upside down and do the work if the rack is on. So I figure, why not go ahead and install this now? Now, I don't know if I'm gonna go by step by step, but I can at least show you guys the finished product. So this has a strap. This is really lightweight aluminum, I like it. It's a very good build quality. I think this was about was 30 or $35, I think, for this one, because I wanted a really high quality one. So this just bolts to this, like this. It's got some rubber pieces, and then, there's two bars that come down and you can put it in either of these three holes. There's two bars that come down to support the weight of the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. This is what I got done so far. Now, the problematic issue has been this shifting cable. Um, this bracket's not really an issue because the cable's on the outside, but what I had to do is run this cable right in there. I'm going to squirt, I took one of the, I took the piece of the rubber off and I'm going to squirt some WD-40 down in here. It's not really rubbing on this metal bracket. It's kind of, I don't know how to explain. It's kind of like just going through it without really rubbing it, but it looks like it might rub slightly on the back. And so I think just a little WD-40 down there should help, help with that. I don't really know what else to do about it because that's the way it's got to be. This this seems very sturdy, so I don't think I'll have any problems carrying cargo. And yes, the generator's on. There's not much I can do about that. It's sunset, and I don't have the batteries charged up yet, so I'm running the little generator back there. So I'm gonna put this last connector on, just like I did on the other side, just from, from up here to down here. And then the bike rack will be completely done. Unfortunately, Stan kept me on the phone for an hour and I lost a lot of daylight that I was gonna work on the tires. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to do the tires today either, which means I have to do both tires tomorrow and be able to do the Saturday run over to the cemetery. So what I wanna do is I wanna do a video of both cemeteries here. And that'd be a perfect thing to do on the bike. So I don't know, maybe I can leave this out in the sun for 
20 minutes and see how warm the tires are. I'll use my little infrared temperature gauge to see if they're warm enough because they need to be pretty warm in order to get them off the rims. Maybe I can do one tire today and one tire tomorrow. So back to work. All right, guys, check this out. I got the rack completely on. I got this seat. Actually kind of comfortable, even with the backrest on here. And you can hold, put your hands here. There's a, like a bar that comes up and all that, but I can't really fit it under there. And the only thing I have is I have some pedals that came with the kit. I can't put them on this kind of axle, so I'm gonna have to try to mount them here somewhere. They fold up, so they'll be out of the way when I don't need them. And this seat like literally comes off in a minute. I just have it hand tight because I'm not leaving it on, but it's four bolts to put it on. And that's it. And when I don't want to want to use it, it's two screws to take this out, four bolts to take it off. Then I can pack it away. And that's when I plan on having passengers. Odin commands you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box. Anybody want to go for a ride at the RTR? There you go. Got a seat for you. Hey, thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe, share, and like. And we'll see you guys next time. Say hi, Odin. Joe Lazaro, Pat.